we're here to make sure new people get to hear the whole truth and And blatant lies sometimes or very very intentionally twisted data i've been to so many of these meetings and they're all the same we're going through all the signs together i'm on facebook live this is alternative a this is essentially the administrative order on consent that's the aoc cleanup that was signed in 2010 um between the state of California and the Department of Toxic Substance Control and NASA, the Department of Energy, and Boeing. <clears throat> Alternative A is based on the cleanup levels provided in the AOC lookup table. So these lookup tables are, are unbelievably important. And it depends on what kind of lookup table you are using determines how much contamination. So when they're saying, oh, we're doing it according to a lookup table, you have to actually know what type of lookup. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Dad. Um, they want you to know it's going to take 9,098 total truckloads, which we'll talk about. That's not true. And 25 years of cleanup duration. The last time I spoke with Jared Blumenfeld, who is the head of Cal EPA, he said that the soil remediation could be done in two years, according to the AOC. Jared Blumenfeld, the head of Cal EPA, is very much in support of the AOC. You can see that from all his documents. The area in purple here is all the area that would be cleaned up according to this lookup table. We're cleaning up what needs to be cleaned up, not, but they're saying here that there's going to be a negative impact, and that's just not true. Um, and people have kept spreading the lie that old growth oak trees, which are on the site, and I've seen them, they're gorgeous, they're amazing, but they're going to have to be torn down. That is not true. In fact, you can see that a lot of this area, see those green lines right there? This is all building area. So the areas that they're going to clean up are primarily already been paved over, built on top of. We're not going after, this is not, this is not the full 3,000 acres that they own right here, but this is the part that needs to be remediated. And this is the part that they're saying we're going to tear out all the old trees. Well, the old trees don't grow anymore on the area that they built on top of. Well, now they're using a different lookup table. And they're saying they're doing it with the Cal EPA Office of Environmental Health Hazard. They're screening only for the seven contaminants that result in the greatest disproportionate level of cleanup between the AOC and environmental agency screening levels and reducing unnecessary impacts to the community. Um, I think they've already given us the unnecessary impacts of their activities. So what I want to point out here is they're, they're saying this is this amount of soil right here. This is grossly inflated amount. Um, What is assumed here is that for any contamination that it has to be cleaned the whole area instead of just the contamination. And this is very intentional. And we've seen this with Boeing and we've seen this with Department of Energy where they make it seem like it's just more than necessary. And and we're pretty strict about the cleanup. And then we came here where we were talking about this lookup chart. Says how much they have to clean it up. So if you change the lookup chart, it's like using a different um, key for a map or something, it's totally different. Right, exactly. So they're saying that this is less soil move. This is way more than what has to be moved anyhow. Um, And they're telling us how long it's going to take, even though the head of Cal EPA told us it would take two years. So these numbers are meant to intimidate the community. So almost as though the community would choose to take a smaller, shorter, yeah. Yeah, with less trucks driving yeah. up and down. I mean, if you see that, 12 years, it's like, right. oh, I don't want to deal with that. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. That's a scare tactic. That's a scare tactic. Yeah. yeah. Have you been to these meetings before? No, I haven't Are you been. It's my first yeah. so Alternative C. This is Alternative C. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, what's interesting here is that this is on the AOC lookup table. This is a revised L- uh, lookup table. This is no lookup table. This is called a risk-based assessment. So it's just a risk-based assessment. A yes. risk-based assessment. You can see that they're going to clean it up according to a suburban residential cleanup, which That's is enough. not correct. And what it is saying is that if they were to clean it up, it would be safe enough to have suburban to residential have houses on it. Houses. But that is totally against the Ventura County zoning. So this is this cannot happen. Not even close. No, but they're presenting it like it could happen. Yesterday, well, actually we were in Simi, um, talking with the uh, supervisor board from Ventura County, Linda Parks, and she was telling them, she was here telling them, this can't happen because it has to match the local zoning of the community. And this is, yeah, and, and the point of a risk space is it only is trying to decide while you are on the site for two hours a week if you would be safe because you wouldn't be as exposed. But for all these areas where we live, they're not
not assuming that the contamination can reach no, us. No, no. So they just covering, you know. So basically, just trying to cover as little as possible. Yeah, to, to do as little as possible. Yeah, yeah. At our at our at other people's our expense. kids' risk. Yeah, because it's all about money. Blatantly false information. No significant negative impacts from alternative C. Oh, you know how this one said suburban residential cleanup. This one's assuming that you are hiking on the site. Maybe two hours a week if you're dedicated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that if hikers were to come through here and like a pregnant mom were to be hiking here, because that's what they intend to do. They want to turn it into an open park without cleaning it up. With everything, with all this? Yeah. This, with this cleanup, they want to turn it into a park because of Boeing's easement. And I can promise you they're not going to have signs that say pregnant women. Oh, no. you, this is enough radiation walking through. I mean, NASA is mostly chemical contamination. It's about money. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's about money. Cutting costs. Yeah. So soil excavation volume, the AOC cleanup, which is meant intentionally, this was written by a, a Nobel Peace Prize winner at the head of the Department of Energy. He was the one who came up with the AOC. Mm -hmm. And he had this radical idea that they would set the standard new across the nation okay. to have a cleanup that protected the people who lived around it. Okay. Yeah, okay. right next to each other. It's really clear. And I don't think people in the community realize how serious this is. Like, yeah, and it's people who live right around it. Yeah. You know, if people just are willing to just stop and look around you, look what's going on around you. Because that's something that's going imp it, it impacts you, the generation, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, no. Some of the stuff in Boeing's area has a 24,000-year half-life. And they're saying that that's not really a no, big risk. Yeah. Again, NASA, Boeing, and the Department of Energy all are all responsible for different parts. They don't have as much radioactivity on their site, but they have TCE, which is Class A carcinogen, mercury, lead. They found lead in the water runoff 14, 14 times above the allowable level. 14. 14 times. There's truth here and there's lies here, and that's what we're seeing a lot of today. So the truth, will it result in significant... If we were to take out a whole bunch of dirt, we need to put clean dirt there so it's you know, not readily available. And gravel back soil. Let's talk about how much soil we had to use to bury all the children in this community because I have been to too many children's funerals. That's the soil I care about. I don't care about that soil. Cleaning up in D, and this is how much they're cleaning up in A. How does that make sense? From a, Even from a face value, it's like, how does that make sense? That's why I said you don't have to be a rocket scientist for your comments. There are no disproportionate on-site impacts to children or other sensitive populations under any of the action alternatives, even though we know that D does not consider the community around it. And, and I... I would ask all of the cancer parents that have had their children diagnosed, you know, if you want to write in a comment, comment on that. I mean, that's not a, to children, that's very intentional that they're letting us know that our kids' cancer is not coming from their carcinogenic waste. Negative impacts from tra truck traffic. Are you concerned, you're, we're residents, are you concerned about tra truck traffic more than carcinogens? They didn't have enough to put in there that they had just had to put negative impact from truck traffic. This is one of the big things that they've been pushing for years, that this is why it's dangerous. They could be, they could be driving down your street. But they're cleaning up my soil, they're cleaning up, they're making my environment. They're saying that if you were to go on recreational exposure, they're saying that instead of, I said, several hours a week this is several hours a day i'm not entirely sure this is true i was under the impression that it was several hours a week 50 days a year 26 years so they're saying that this could give you cancer if you were above that correct if you were recreational like that the risk goes higher the risk would go higher okay um however there are contaminants on there that are known to have a single exposure to cause significant health damage. Um, well, I mean, obviously the radioactivity, but that's more Boeing site. For your site, we're talking about things like um, benzene. Does that take into, it does take into it. So even if you're exposed like the first day. Because it's risk assessment, right? So it's like statistics. It's not really people one at a time. It's kind of out of, out of a certain number. This is the Cultural Resources Board with an overview that there are some very significant Native American, um, uh, like the Borough Flats painted cave. So these are not registered historic landmarks right now. Is that correct? They are eligible for listing in the National Register. But they're not right now. They're not listed. But and are, eligible. This is where most of the TCE was dumped into the ground. Are you aware of that? That's not my okay. area of they, they actually, I'll, I'll let you know, because that's what they use to wash the test soil stands. 
they put almost a 100 million gallons of TCE was allowed to seep through. So our concern is like this alpha test stand, you can't really get underneath it to clean where all that TCE went, which is a class A carcinogen. But that has to go. So do they think that the alternatives that they're presenting for their cleanup would is going to protect all of this and be safe for the community? Well, this, this, this the supplemental EIS is discussing soils. And so that doesn't involve the buildings quite as much. Because the AOC does specifically say, and it's kind of unusual, it says that all buildings must be treated as soil. And that was a safeguard. That's why they, that stipulation is there, is to, to make sure it's treated just like the soil, meaning highest level of protection. Um, Did you know that under the AOC, I, I don't know, I'm not sure why this says that, because under the AOC there are specific stipulations that have already been laid out that would protect these specific, like, very carefully. It seems like through all the other boards, you know, and, and I don't work for NASA, so I can't say what they they were intending on saying, but the boards were presenting it in a way that the AOC was the most dangerous thing to do, and that alternative C and D were the more safe things to do. But as we've done our research, because we were the ones that discovered a cancer cluster of children in our community, and what we've discovered is several of them got cancer from the contaminants that are only found in industrial settings like this, and so for us, knowing firsthand what that's like to watch a child have cancer, any alternative other than the AOC is not it's, it's very frightening to us. So I think we did the whole circle. Are they not going to give public comment besides the little... No, you can only give it to the court reporter right there. You can't say it out loud. You can't say it out loud. That's how Dan... That's Well, Dan didn't even start to say it out loud. He just said, loudly, if you'd like to see my PowerPoint presentation while I give my public comment, please come on over here. And they removed him for that. And that's the thing that's... By 2020. Summer of 2020, that's when they'll make this law and not go back to the AOC. We will lose the AOC cleanup by 2020 if they win.